Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a character in MetaHuman and get it into Unreal Engine 5. There's some little gotchas along the way, but I hope to make this just a super quick, almost a note to myself practically on how to do it. I was a little frustrated along the way just because I was having difficulty finding things just like buttons. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to get started right now. What's going on right now on the screen is I'm in the process of downloading my character into Unreal Engine 5, but this is taking some time, and I don't know if that's because there's 7.2 million people creating metahumans or the Epic servers are getting overwhelmed with what's going on, but while this is doing its thing, I will stop the video and come back and I'll show you how to get going. Oh, hey, how's it going? So I finally got the character downloaded and this is what I finally ended up with my final image of the character which I have to say the quality of everything is pretty damn impressive especially when you consider this is all free so until you make over what is it like a million dollars or something like that so anyway this is what I finally ended up with and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the beginning and walk through the steps I took to get to this point where I'm able to render out a uh, frame or imagery of my MetaHuman within Unreal. Hey, how's it going? And so we're ready to start. So MetaHumans is actually a web-based program. I don't believe it downloads to your computer. It's a web application, but you need to log into it. So just Google MetaHumans and it'll take you to this website. And then you, you log in and then you'll get this thing that says launch the application and then so you'll notice that the uh, launch the latest so you'll get this you'll end up on this metahuman unreal engine.com and this is all a web-based program so it that's why it takes a while I guess to to load up this is a program that you kind of access on the cloud and it tells you straight away this may take a few minutes and then this will, this screen will come up there's a lot of moving parts to this program it's constantly evolving and changing i think that's one of the crazy things about unreal engine is it's constantly changing so much it's hard to keep up with it and it's all kind of state of the art and it's you know who knows what this will look like in five years you know five years from now you might just press a button and it's all integrated in one app for right now it's like three separate applications you have the metahuman creator you're going to need the Quixel Bridge, and then you're going to need Unreal Engine 5. So that's three separate applications, and MetaHumans itself. So I've already created this one character, but I'm going to just show you. You go Create here. This interface is almost too minimalistic, but here's a choice of characters. Let's just choose one here. Let's choose um, Hannah. And... I'm not going to go through the whole interface here because I feel like that's something you can explore on your own. I'm just trying to show you how to get this into Unreal Engine. So it's pretty cool. Like if you do want to mess with this stuff, let's create selected, right? I thought that's what we did. Yeah. So you hit create selected and then it takes you into this editing menu. And there's this is a lot of fun to play around with. And this is all pretty straightforward in a way. And then there's these shortcut keys and all this. She looks almost perturbed. You know, this kind of is creepy in a way. It's like you're creating these <laughs> these these robots or something. The robots like, you know, screw you, man. What are you doing? So it's it, it does feel a little creepy almost. It is. They're very lifelike. So but let's say we want to save her. So what we do is up here where it says her name, let's just call her Mary one. And now once that name has been changed, if I go into my metahumans, that essentially saves her. So there is no save button. That's what's weird about this program. There's no save button. There's no, and it's not really clear. And so it's kind of frustrating. Unfortunately, I'm making, I'm, we're, we're just waiting in real time because I imagine it's going to, it's doing whatever it does. And so the interface is almost too, too minimalistic because it seems like there should be a button like save your meta human or something. But anyway, here we are and there, and there she is. So now we want to get her, once she's your meta human and you've signed in here, you can go to, you got to go to Quixel Bridge and download what's called the Quixel Bridge, this thing. And then you're going to sign in with your Epic Games, right? And that's what, that's what ties everything together, right? So how did it 
did it log me in? It did log me in. So once you're in the Quixel bridge, then it'll know what your what's going on here. So I'm just looking at how do I get to the bridge here? You download it. I already downloaded it. So I don't know why I would have to go back in it again, but it should have my person in there. So I once I have the bridge actually I believe exists on your laptop. So hold on, let's let's go through this. It says it's running. I see it down here. So I've downloaded it. And here it is. So it comes up here. And then you'll have a section over here where it says metahumans. And then you'll have your metahumans. That you, and there she is, right? It's a lot to get your mind around. There's the metahumans web-based program where you go in there and you create your metahuman. And then as soon as you name it, it saves under the my metahuman category. And then when you go into Quixel Bridge and you log in with your Epic ID, then there's the one that you created. And then you click here and it says, you know, to use the bridge. But let's click on her. We just clicked on her. And now we can download her. And there's these different resolutions. I guess you might as well do 8K. And then you can hit here. There's, there's some export settings. It asks you things like this. But when I did this before, it didn't even have, see, this is what's weird, is the UA version of MediHumans is not compatible with UA4, UA Asset version. So what I'm taking this to mean, if you click on Export Settings, it doesn't even have Unreal Engine 5 on here. So as far as I'm concerned, you don't even need to mess with the Export Settings. Just download it and click that button, and then it'll start downloading. I had to click this a couple times. Oops, what's it doing? No, I don't want to do that. So let's see. I got her clicked and I clicked download. The UA version is not compatible. Oh, what that tells me is I think I have to go in here and launch UA5. So somehow it knows I'm assuming let's just do a blank project here and we'll just call this my like project five and let it load up. For some reason it doesn't seem to want to let me download because it'll start saying it like it like knows they're all kind of connected. So see look the bridge comes back up. Let me go back into my metahuman. My metahuman. And now look. Now it'll let me download. What I got from this is that you have to have Unreal Engine up and running when you load the bridge up, the Quixel bridge. So then it won't let you just download it straight. It wants to download it into an active Unreal Engine project. So that's why it wasn't letting me download it. So lesson learned on that. This is not, I got to tell you, this is not in for as minimalistic as the interface is. This is not intuitive. So lesson learned on that is that you have to have Unreal Engine open in version 5 and then it'll download. Now I'm going to stop the video because this takes like a day and a week to download. Here you can go make a pie, run some errands, go visit your, your relatives and then come back and then it should be generated. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and then we'll we'll go from there once this downloads. Hey, so we're back and you can see that it, the project finally downloaded. So I believe now it wants me to update. I can just click add and it's going to import this whole thing into Unreal Engine, hopefully crossing our fingers. So, and then you're going to get this error popping up. And when that pops up, it's going to want all this stuff, live link, live link, control rig, Apple, RA, face support and all this stuff. You just click enable missing. It should, uh, although it doesn't seem like it uh, really responds, and enable missing on this stuff too. Gosh, how much stuff is missing? Wow, enable missing, enable missing, enable missing. A lot of stuff, and then it's going to need to restart. 
So it's restarting the whole shebang, the whole Unreal Engine now. So I have to go in and explore what all that stuff is necessary for. Okay, so as far as I know, it's downloaded. I'm not sure why the bridge popped up again. Uh, I'm in my Unreal project now, but um, maybe I shouldn't have closed the bridge, huh? Here it is. That's it. It's downloaded. It's not recognizing. So what in the world now? Uh, it takes me to a learn page. I don't have to sign in. Okay. Well, I'll sign in with my Epic. Uh, well, it it must already know who I am. Okay. What shall we call you? Holy cow. Uh, call me Joe. Okay. <laughs> this is nuts. I don't know why it's doing all this. So, uh, where are we? We downloaded it. Use an Unreal Bridge. I'm in the program here, so let's just go here and we'll go to Quixel Bridge and we'll go to MetaHuman, my MetaHuman. And this is what's confusing is that I thought I just added it all, but I guess when I restarted it, it had to add all those plugins and then it kind of kicked me out of the program. And see, when I click this Add button, notice that nothing seems to happen. And if I come into my program, I don't see that anything has happened either. I don't see uh, MetaHuman has been loaded in here. And I guess that's the, that's the frustrating part, right? Like, I click this. Yeah, we did all that. I know what, I know what it is. It's downloaded. And I don't need to export anything. So if I come in back in here, we'll try to link this way again through the Quixel Bridge. My MetaHuman. Add. See, I hit this button and why I'm not even getting an error message. Was it because I did the... Well, see, that's interesting. I thought I downloaded it already on the highest quality and now it wants to download it again so this is the part that's frustrating because as far as I know I did everything I was supposed to do and an update to the bridge is available well as far as I know when I once I click that bridge let's go into the content browser oh okay well you see Let's just close it then. So it downloaded. And so I guess maybe that was my mistake. So it uh, downloaded and now I've got my, I'm in my content and I go to MetaHumans and I apologize for what appeared to be a, <laughs> a big mess. But if I go in here to Mary, all I have to do, the last step is drag this onto the screen. This is my character, my metahuman right here. But see how the whole thing just kind of freezes up? That's why I say there's a lot of moving parts in here. And so don't get frustrated. I mean, it's just, I'm sure the program's going to get better as time goes by. But this is just the first stages of this thing. And so we're just in the very beginning of what this is going to become. And so unfortunately, we're kind of the beta testers, I, I feel like where things aren't clear, you know, I, and I'm sure they'll get better as they go. But now it looks like it wants to prepare a bunch of shaders. So, so let's just let it, let it do its thing. Because look, this is my medic human right here, the BP Mary. And if I drag her on, but see, it's not letting me do anything right now. So, oh, <laughs> Okay, there she is. Oh, well, you can see as the shaders come in, right? So I can start. If I look over here, I can see her now. Hit the space bar to change my 
I can turn her this way. Right? And then I I can hit play. I guess the, the shaders can... I have no, it's, no idea what's going on in the background here. Whoops. One thing I can do is... Let me hit escape. And slow down my camera speed here. I I do apologize. You're you're seeing this like I'm seeing it, okay? So this is the real world. <laughs> There's no fluff here. So there she is. Okay, awesome. You see what I went through, right? I was I wasn't being inappropriate, was I? I'm fighting my way through this. We're getting through, and I can't complain at all, or honestly, because this is completely free. And uh, and so yeah, it's a little glitchy. It's a little frustrating, but. You know, we'll we'll figure it out and we'll get there. And here we are. We got our metahuman in. So that's awesome. Now, let's say you wanted to film her. All you'd have to do for that is just come down here. Come up here to the window. Cinematics. We have our take recorder on. And go to sequencer here. And click on the camera right there. And now we're in the camera view. So I'm just hitting the middle mouse button. There she is. I can, let me, this is such an awkward way to look around here. Now, again, she's horribly out of focus. This is always the case. I can click on manual focus here. How far do I have to drag this thing? Because we have such limited apertures. So let me, whoa. 11 should be good and just take her right about there and I did a video already and we can just create a keyframe to lock that and there's there she is and then and then you just hit here select a folder and hit capture movie and you got your first metahuman so went all the way from metahuman creator quixel bridge here we are in Unreal engine I apologize for all the bumps along the way but this is life in the big city and hopefully this has been of some help to you. So take care. Have a great day. God bless you. And we'll talk next time.